I was super excited to present uh, tonight's demonstration. Um, I'll just have Danny flip to the overhead camera right off the bat. This is a die that I got for my rivet press to install magnetic snaps. Um, this is what it looks like from the backside, kind of looks like a rivet. And traditional, you're probably aware, traditional magnetic snaps, um, you just open them out with prongs. But I was really excited to find an option for um, installing these on my rivet press. And uh, Danny called my attention to this after he saw our friend Christy from Love You So uh, installing this on her Instagram page. So I've linked to Christy's Instagram in case you're interested in checking it out. Um, let me share with you what the pieces are that I got for my press. So my press is purchased from Minkus Margot, but I actually got the dies for the magnetic snaps um, from the Cam Snaps website. And the die set comes with three die portions. This part you screw into the top and this accommodates the, the backside where the, the curved portion is. And then there's two additional dies. One is for the male portion of the snap. This one has sort of like the hole in the middle and this one's for uh, the female portion of the magnetic snap. And then I needed to purchase an adapter which um, the Cam Snaps website lets you know depending on what press you have, what adapter you need. If you have a press similar to mine, if you got yours from Minkus Margo, perhaps you did. Um, I link to the exact adapter that I bought. So without the adapter, the pieces, they'll just fall through. So the, the, having the adapter is really important. Let me kind of, having that adapter is really important so that you can set your die inside. So let me first screw in the top portion. Again, this is the portion with the um, dome. dome. Thank you, Danny. And then you'll just need to decide which die that you're going to start off with first. So I purchased a packet of silver snaps. The die, as well as the snaps, I chose 14 millimeters, which is 9 sixteenths of an inch. That's just what I thought I would be using for bag making. And I'll take one of each piece out and I'll install, I prepared a piece of fabric attached to foam interfacing and then I'll just install a couple of these on camera so that you can see how it works. Actually, I'm going to jump off my chair just to make sure I have enough leverage to push these down. Okay, so let's start off with the female portion of the magnetic snap with the opening. As you can see, you can test it on there first to make sure that you have the right part installed. And this just goes on the bottom. And I prepared, I already used my rivet press to make some holes in the fabric. This is just fabric attached to foam interfacing. And then I've also gotten a couple of extra reinforcement pieces of interfacing. This is Decoville Heavy. You can also use Peltex. And I'm just going to go ahead and here's my fabric. Obviously you want the snap to be on the right side of the fabric. And then I'm going to go ahead and place this dome piece on the back side. Actually, Obviously, if you're using the interfacing, you'll want to slide that on first. And then again, the dome piece is the top of the rivet press, so I'm just going to go ahead and place it in the press, and then I'm going to push that down. As you can see, that's what it looks like installed and on the back. And then I'm just going to go ahead and swap out the die for the one for the male portion. Okay, so again, I'm going to place this on the right side of the fabric. Actually, I'll place it down here. On the wrong side, I'm going to place that little scrap of interfacing. And then one of the dome pieces. Okay, again, I'm just going to go ahead and slide that on the press and then push down. As you can see, it just took a few seconds to get those installed and they're secure just like any regular magnetic snap. So again, I've linked to the die set as well as that adapter that I used in my press. Um, links are in the description. If you have a press and you're not sure 
what kind of press you have, what adapter that you'll need. I, I, I would suggest, and I've also made a note about this in my blog post, I would suggest contacting the seller and checking first before purchasing just to make sure that you're getting the correct items. But if you have a press from Minkus Margot, the items linked to in the description, that's what I've purchased. And I feel like this is sort of a game changer. I was really excited to see that um, magnetic snaps could be installed in a rivet press. And I was telling my friend the other day, I probably <laughs> won't go back to installing the um, traditional magnetic snaps with the prongs just because I now have this die for my rivet press. So um, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. And um, especially if you have a rivet press, um, check out those links after the show. So.